Today, for Marble Fubica, we have a unique twist on one of our more common races as another time trial race between countries for our tournament. And there is a very different aspect. There it is right there on your screen. It is a literal conveyor belt, which will be incorporated in the middle of the uh, time trials here today. For this 16-team field, there are the team statistics for 2019. And for MSPN, I'm Rick O'Shea, welcoming you to today's tournament. As you see the, the statistics, and now you'll see the teams that are going to compete. It's the Philippines, Russia, Australia with a rare appearance, and Germany in the bottom left quadrant of the bracket. And then the top left consists of Brazil, Vietnam, all eyes are going to be on Indonesia, and they'll take on Argentina, Colombia, the United States, Portugal, and Iceland, and then Mexico, Japan, the Netherlands, and Malaysia. First matchup is the Philippines against Russia. It's going to be very interesting to see uh, this matchup here, just because it's the first one, and see how the conveyor belt moves. It's going to be a lot of uh, banging back and forth as they are continuing to make contact with each other early. And right now, oh, Russia jumps to the lead. There they are on the conveyor belt, making their way through. I don't think there's any chance that these marbles will fall. Oh, look at that big drop into a funnel. And through first, it's going to be a pass. The Philippines has the lead. They're down to the second funnel now. Let's see if Russia can make that same pass. The answer is no. Now we make their way towards the pegs that they have to make their way through. And now this large portion, and all the way to the finish, as the Philippines finish, and Russia is actually going to get stuck, so they are disqualified, and will not finish, but they were far enough behind anyway, and with too little track to remain, that it wouldn't have mattered. As the Philippines move on, they win the first matchup. One thing to note there is that it does come to a sudden end, as it's the Netherlands against Malaysia now. Look at that very large view, I love that view of the course there. And lead right now belonging to Malaysia, and they're going to take that lead, making their way up the conveyor belt. Great look there. There they come, into the funnel. And they are now going to be joined by the Netherlands. Malaysia in the gray, in the lead, and not for long as the Netherlands pass them up. Another pass happening in one of those funnels. That has been a very common uh, happening recently, and I think that's because they've noticed that you're able to make those passes if you come in hard and make contact. Ooh, near stop for the Netherlands. They're slowly making their way through. Trying to get down towards the bottom, and they will finish ahead of Malaysia. And they will move on. And that's going to be the end of the day for the Malaysians. They finish four seconds behind and are eliminated. One thing to note here is that there's not as much time. We saw in our last video, Indonesia, and here they are. Trying to defend their crown, yet again, I should note, as they continue to win, and they've got the uh, the advantage right now, but now it's going to be passed up. Oh, that was so tight, they almost ended up in the same one. Very close with each other. Slight advantage for Argentina. Now here comes Indonesia. There's not as much time for them to make up a mistake, though, so it's really important to see who gets out first. And right now, through the first funnel at least, it's going to be uh, Argentina. And now here comes Indonesia trying to make that pass. It looks like they've got the angle. Do they have the finish? No, they do not. Not quite. They are very close with each other. Who can get through first? Argentina making quick work. Here comes Indonesia. It's going to be too little, too late. Argentina wins, and they have eliminated Indonesia in the first round to end their reign of terror against the other countries. Three consecutive podium finishes, three consecutive finals appearances, and consecutive back-to-back -back wins. Two in a row have gone to Indonesia. That will change now. As here is Colombia against the United States and the U.S. Trying to bounce back from an early exit in our last video. Which was the elevator video, which I've referred to in the past before as a, a conveyor belt. Definitely not as much of a conveyor belt as this. Oh, look at that pass! Are you kidding me? Colombia came in behind. They just bumped the U.S. right out of the way and said, I'll take that. They've got the lead. Now they're both in the funnel. Let's see if the U.S. can return the favor. The answer is no. Colombia's got that lead. 
Wow, a little bit of bully ball being played here by Colombia, just pushing the United States out of the way. And now the U.S. gets back in the lead, making their way down the pegs right around the corner. Great run there by the United States, and they are going to start to slow, and they're having a little trouble, and now here they come towards the end. Here comes Colombia. They push him out of the way again and get the win. Wow. Colombia just dominated the United States there and shoved them right out of the way and said, we will be moving on. Thank you very much. They get the win over the United States by just over a second. And now it is Brazil against Vietnam. That was a shocking run. Oh, big contact there between these two marbles. Facing off, another contact made. Ooh, big run there. Slowing and falling back a little bit was Vietnam. It cost them a spot on the conveyor belt. They've still got the lead, though. Very interesting the way this conveyor belt works. You can kind of just push people out of the way. And if you line up wrong, you could potentially lose your spot and have to drop back a spot. Vietnam still got the lead over Brazil. Couple of favorites out early, the United States. Two-time defending champs, three-time defending uh, final appearances for Indonesia, and they lost. Not going to be the case, though, here for Brazil. They'll move on. And so they are able to advance to the second round, and now uh, they will face Argentina. Would have been a second consecutive appearance, uh, or a tournament at least, that we would have seen Brazil against Indonesia in the second round. That's not to be, though. They'll take on Argentina. And now back towards the top. Iceland's got a very beautiful white marble with some blue, yellow, red mixed in. Classic green and dark red for Portugal. A lot of banging back and forth there and stealing that spot is Iceland. They have the lead. It's tight, though. Here early on. Really interesting. The strategy involved here for this tournament. Different aspect here, as Portugal is going to take that lead right back. Pass them in the funnel. That's clearly, if you're not going to get the lead and have it consistently... Oh, look at the move there by Iceland. They pass them back. They've got the lead. They're heading down right through the middle of the course. They've got one more move to make. Now they're starting to slow. They get stuck. They get stuck, and Portugal's going to win. Iceland blows it at the last moment. Oh, what a helpless feeling. They had it, and they had it easily, and at the last turn, they get stuck. That is heart-wrenching, heartbreaking for Iceland. Oh, my. Germany takes on Australia now. Germany's got a different look. They're black and white here today, and Australia's got blue and red, and they are... Uh, clear as well, and they've got a lead right now. Oh my goodness, that's just heartbreaking for Iceland. To lose in that fashion. Now here comes Germany, trying to circle it. They will get through the first funnel. Making their way down. Here's Australia. They look good, and they're going to take the lead right back. You don't want to head down the middle. That's exactly what Australia did. Maybe opening the door for Germany if they can head down the side. Nope, they're going to follow suit. And meanwhile, Australia is going to win. 42.03 the time. Germany's starting to struggle, but they will at least cross the finish line. Seven seconds later, they're eliminated. And one more spot. It's Japan against Mexico. We've seen a couple of our either fan favorites or favorites in terms of their success rates go down. Japan and Mexico. Mexico is definitely one of them. They've had a lot of success and they are right now following ahead of Japan, but Japan jumps ahead at the last second and Mexico passes them up as they're waiting for a spot on the conveyor belt. We saw Colombia do that to the United States. And Mexico just did it to Japan, and now Japan trying to pass them back up. They do. That is the perfect way to combat that. Let's see if they can get out of the second funnel okay. They do. They've got the lead, headed to the final portion of this course. Getting through pretty quickly, making their way down towards the bottom. Last move to make. They've got it, and Japan is going to take out Mexico. Very fast time, 42.01. A respectable 48.18. But still well too slow against Japan. 
Mexico is eliminated. Japan's moving on. And our quarterfinal matchup is set. First one will be Brazil against Argentina. Argentina with the upset of Indonesia. And Brazil with their onlookers and supporters sitting right next to the Argentines. Contact made there. Ooh, Brazil really struggling right now. Getting stuck. And meanwhile, Argentina able to build a lead, but it goes right away. That was a big comeback early in this race for Brazil. For a moment, it looked like they might just get stuck all entirely. Instead, they're able to come back. Get right up next to Argentina here as they enter the first funnel. Ooh, this is tight. Argentina, though, holds on to the lead. That's big for them. And now here comes Brazil again, trying to make that pass. And they will. They've got the lead back. Argentina following them very closely. It'll come down to the end. Argentina with a little stumble. And it is enough for a very close win for Brazil. Wow, only a tenth of a second. But Brazil is moving on. Now it's Portugal against Colombia. Colombia there, the yellow, red, and blue. Big contact and the lead right now to Colombia trying to make quick work here. Oh, look at the move there by Portugal and they've got the lead. Passed them up at the last moment and stood their ground. Colombia bullied the United States right out of that spot. That time Portugal would not oblige. Big move there by Colombia. Who's going to get out first? It's going to be Colombia. Good move. Weren't able to force Portugal out of the way, but they did still pass them in that funnel. And now Portugal will pass them right back. Starting to build a lead. Colombia struggling in that second funnel. That might be too late. Portugal, one more move to make. They're starting to slow, but it's not going to be slow enough. They're going to finish first and advance to the semifinals. And now Colombia is going to get stuck. And so their day will end with a disqualification as they are eliminated. Just trying to finish the course, and they couldn't. And now Australia will take, uh, take on the Philippines. Philippines won our first matchup. There they are. And over a couple is Australia. Australia has not been a very common opponent here today. Or here, uh, I should say, uh, this year in terms of making uh, appearances in tournaments. And a rarity here. There's a spot separating these two on that conveyor belt. That hasn't happened very often. And the Philippines, they don't care. They pass them anyway. Wow. Big comeback there by the Philippines. And now Australia passes them back. This one's going to be tight. Here comes the Philippines. There goes Australia down towards the end. They've got one more move to make, but they're not going to make it. They're going to get stuck. Oh, the pass at the end. Australia does come back to win. Back and forth they went, and they made the move at the last moment. Almost looked like they were waiting, praying on the Philippines, waiting for them to move out of the way so that they could make the move. Don't know if it was intentional or not, but if it was, that is a great run. Either way, it's going to get them into the semifinals and get us to our next, our next matchup, which is the Philippines, uh, I'm sorry, the Netherlands against Japan. Pretty tight right now. Japan is going to move on into the conveyor belt first and pretty large lead. There's one, two, three spots on that conveyor belt separating these two. I just said that hasn't happened very often. That's the largest lead heading into the funnel that we've seen from anyone. Let's see if that's going to be able to matter. It doesn't look like it will. There goes the Netherlands. They not only eliminated that uh, deficit, but they take the lead. And now Japan trying to take it right back. They will. Back and forth they go in the funnels. That's been a uh, theme for today's matchups. Japan trying to make quick work. They do. One more move to make, and they're moving on with a time of 45-16. Pretty quick run there. Pretty quick for both sides. But a little bit too slow for the Netherlands as they are eliminated in our last matchup. I'm sorry, our uh, first semifinal matchup will be Australia against Brazil. You're guaranteed a spot uh, in, a, in a match to get on the podium. 
That's if you lose, you'll play for third. If you win, you are into the final. Brazil, Australia, like we said, the Aussies haven't played very often in these tournaments, but they are showing up here. Good start. And they're going to have the lead, Ooh, just barely. No separation right now. First funnel. And the Australia, yep, they will take the lead. They will have it out of the first funnel. Now here comes Brazil. Australia trying to pull the off the upset. But here comes Brazil. They will get towards the pegs first, making their way down into the final portion of this track, making quick work. Brazil, now here comes Australia, and they pass at the end. They did it again. Back-to-back -back times, Australia makes the move, and they are moving on to their first final of the year. And they'll face either Portugal or Japan. Now that is a very dangerous move in terms of uh, trying to block it. If the opponent is doing that, which we've seen from Australia a couple of times now, that's hard, to, that's hard to beat. Good size lead right now for Japan. Portugal trying to figure it out. They're having a hard time doing so. That is one, two, three, and then Portugal. So a good size lead for Japan. Let's see if they can continue that. They do keep the lead into the second funnel. Still in the first funnel is Portugal. Now they're making their way out, trying to distract Japan, get them to not be able to finish the funnel. It won't work. They're on to their final portion of this track. Can you finish it quickly? The answer for Japan is going to be quick enough. They're going to get the win. 47-12. Portugal is going to get stuck. Another disqualification. This time it's Portugal. They are disqualified from this match. Doesn't disqualify them from a chance uh, to play for third, though, so they will take on Brazil. It's Australia against Japan, but first the third place match. There have been some close calls in this one. Brazil fell victim to that. Australia passing them at the last moment. Portugal coming off a disappointing semi-final matchup in which they were unable to finish, and they do take the lead now here against Brazil. No separation. As they enter the funnel. It looks like that's Brazil with the upper hand. It is. They are going to take the lead over Portugal. Now they're all over the place. And it is... Looks like that's still Brazil. It is. Brazil's still in the lead. And now they are stuck. They're in trouble. Here comes Portugal. If they hit them, they've got a chance. If they don't, it's over. It's going to be over. Portugal's going to win third by virtue of another disqualification. Brazil had a huge lead. But they see it slip away just like we saw with Iceland in the first round. Brazil misses out on a spot on the podium. And now it is Australia against Japan. Look at the uh, metallic looks on both these marbles. At least from our camera, that's how it looks. Ooh, look at that move right there by Japan. They're going to take the lead. They are silver and some white mixed in. A lot of clear blue-red involved for Australia. And it's Japan through the first funnel first. Moving on to the last funnel. And then the final portion of this track. And they're going to be mixed up in there with Australia trying to confuse them distract them and take the lead themselves they cannot japan towards the final portion of the course now here comes australia it's going to have to be a mistake for japan will they make that mistake the answer is no and the luck runs out for australia japan wins this tournament australia did it on their last two times where they were able to catch their opponent in a mistake and make a move with the killer instinct that's not to be this time japan Got ahead, stayed ahead, and finishes in first. Third place goes to Portugal. They're on the podium. Australia with a very strong second. But all eyes are on Japan as they get the win in the first conveyor belt tournament. Very interesting aspect added uh, to these time trial tournaments as the conveyor belt 
allowed uh, some passes to be made that we may not have normally seen, and it added uh, an extra element of surprise and excitement to our tournament. So we're glad that you watched it, and we're glad that we were able to have a fun and exciting tournament. So again, congratulations to Japan. Until next time, I'm Rick O'Shea, and thanks for watching.